What is up guys? Welcome to today's episode. Or as you can see, I'm just getting around for the day. I mean, I have already been in to the gym. I've trained two clients this morning and now I'm home. I went grocery shopping and we are getting our food ready to go. Uh, if you saw yesterday's video, you saw my new meal plan, diet plan, idea plan. And uh, one thing I've decided I'm gonna switch around on that already is I wanna move the protein shake that I had right before bed basically to the morning. I'm gonna have that first thing in the morning instead of at night because I feel like it's just a lot of liquid that I'm getting at night because I have that. And then right after that, I mean not long after, like an hour after that, then I have um, fade out and GI juice, which if you guys didn't know, yeah, I don't show this very often on my channel because uh, I usually don't film that late at night, but GI juice and fade out. I have these every single night before I go to bed. Fade out is a sleep supplement, which I really do like. Been taking it every night for, I don't know how many months now, and I just feel like it relaxes me more and it helps me stay asleep longer. GI juice, basically your full spectrum of digestive enzymes. And then it also has a fruits and greens blend to it. Uh, let me just read it off here. You've got blueberry, black raspberry, mulberry leaf, pineapple powder, bilberry leaf, papaya, monk fruit, broccoli powder, carrot powder, purple sweet potato powder, powder, kelp, bromelain, all this other stuff, acai juice powder. So yeah, this basically covers you for fruits and vegetables. Not that I'd neglect my fruits and vegetables. I definitely do get in plenty of vegetables, especially right now. Fruits we've been kind of backing off on a little bit, but I'm definitely still including them, especially blueberries um, in my fruit juices. But uh, yeah, um, fade out GI juice, both very good. Uh, link is down in the description box below. Use my code T20ChaseI if you want 20% off on those products. It's a great way to support the channel if you haven't done it yet. Worth trying out. If you have sleep issues, give Fade Out a try. If you have trouble getting in vegetables and fruits, try GI Juice. It is good. I recommend them together right before you go to bed. Anyways, moving on. Um, today, I wanted to talk about something that people have been kind of poking at me to uh, give some attention to, and that is Greg Doucette on his latest rants of two videos. Um, no, I'm not talking about Brandon Harding, but I'm talking about macros and do they matter, but more specifically, which I feel that everybody is getting wrong here, is does counting macros matter. That's what Greg is arguing is counting macros. Not not that like you don't need protein or you just you can eat all carbs or all fat. That's not what he was talking about. He was talking about having a well-rounded balanced diet, but he was talking about counting the specific macros and just counting calories is what matters. And I have to say I completely agree with him. Like, I mean, I don't understand what everybody is trying to argue with him for because, uh, I mean, it just, it's, it's true though. I mean, whatever you give your body as a source of energy, it's going to use it. And then if you're having less energy than what you're expending, you're going to lose weight. I mean, or whatever goal you want, you know, if you, are eating more calories than what you're expending, you're going to gain weight. You're gonna, you know, maintenance, whatever. So the thing is, is, is that people are saying that I'm somebody that seems to care a lot more about the specific macros, the specifics, you know, counting 240 grams of protein, counting my carbs, counting out my fats, and Really, does it actually matter that much? No, it's because I'm OCD about these kinds of things. And that's just, I mean, I feel like that's just something that a lot of us do to feed that OCD side of us 
you know, where it's just kind of like, it's little goals like that that make us happy, you know, putting in the right amount, putting in the right amount of foods into our MyFitnessPal to see, you know, how can we set up the perfect mix of fruits, vegetables, um, proteins, and all that to hit our macros spot on. It's not that it actually matters. I know it doesn't, it doesn't matter your ratio of carbs to fats. It really, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. Whichever one you give your body, it's going to use for energy. That's just kind of the way that it goes. However, I do feel that there is like a small bit, like when it really comes down to like tweaking little things, you know, like with carbs, fats, and proteins, you have to consider a few things. Like number one being, do carbs set someone off? Do carbs tend to, like I'm talking about when you're setting up something for a client, do carbs tend to derail people where they have some carbs and that sets something off in them where they just want more carbs? Um, do you feel more satisfied eating more fats? Do you feel more satisfied getting in 200 grams of protein? Do you feel more satisfied eating 300 grams of protein? Do you feel more satisfied eating 400 grams of protein? That's where the individual bits and pieces of macros matter on a much smaller scale though. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, again, no, it doesn't matter. As long as you're having a significant source of protein for every time that you sit down to eat, which if you're doing this and trying to build as much muscle as possible while being as lean as possible, you should at least be eating four meals a day, um, but shooting for five, maybe even six, if your calories are high enough. But yeah, if you're eating protein, a significant source, you know, where you're getting at least like 30 or 40 grams every time you sit down to eat, you're going to be close enough to your protein goals. Like your body's going to be able to do what it needs to do to build muscle and, you know, handle all of that. Like that's definitely not something that we have to worry about. And the thing is, is if you are getting far along in a diet and you are starting to feel more hungry, I mean, as you get down to single digit body fat, yeah, your, your appetite, it, that's part of it. You're going to be hungry. There are ways that you can manipulate macros to keep you fuller longer. That's where, you know, does counting macros matter? No, I mean, still, no, it doesn't because you can set your meals up that way to be like, okay, this is gonna be a 500 calorie meal and we're gonna set it up with 50 grams of protein as opposed to all through, you know, your cut, you had 50, 30 grams of protein. We're gonna be switching to these 50 gram of protein meal choices now but you're still gonna get, say, 2,000 calories for your day on your cut, but these 50 gram of protein meals will probably fill you up more and keep you more satisfied so that you don't fall off the wagon. So, yeah, I mean, I, mean, I, I just keep repeating myself, but no, I, macros, individual macros don't matter. The only thing that really matters is protein and then everything else, carbs and fats, doesn't matter what percentage you get in of each. They should just fill the remainder of your calories however you want, you know, whether that's 50% of your remaining calories are from fat, 50% are from carbs, or, you know, if you want to do 70% fat, 30% carbs. If you want to do 30% carbs, 70% fat, it really doesn't matter. Your body's going to utilize the energy the way that it needs to, to survive. So basically what it comes down to is that you need to make a decision for yourself and decide what you like better and try all these things. Because I mean, that's why that's why Greg can say what he can say because he's tried all these things. He's got, you know, 100 years of experience figuring this stuff out. I've got about 20 years of experience working with this kind of stuff, trying to figure things out. And I've tried all the different 
you know, macro styles of high fat, high carb, high protein, whatever, you know, you were focusing on a balance of all of it. And there are just, there are very small benefits to each one, but still the main thing that matters, the main take home message is that calories are what matter the most. Carbs and fats don't matter near as much. And, you know, as long as you're getting in a sufficient amount of protein, which in all honesty is, is extremely easy as long as you're having a significant protein source with every meal. So that's my take on it. I, I feel like I just kind of talked in circles there for a while, but um, I mean, I completely agree with Greg. It's not, it's something that we overcomplicate a lot. It's something that I feel like a lot of people base their jobs on. Like a lot of people will defend counting individual macros because that's what their job is, is uh, to be like, you need to have 100 grams of carbs and 150 grams of fat and 200 grams of protein. Like that's going to be what is going to work perfect for you. Like people get paid to put that together. So I can understand if they want to argue for that. But um, again, everybody's different. Everybody has their preferences when it comes to high fat, high carb, or high protein, or a big mix, or 40, 30, 30, whatever. You've just, you've got, at the end of the day, you've got to figure out what you like best and then set your meals up that way to make it happen. So that's, uh, that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope that um, it wasn't too confusing or boring or, you know, I hope it was easy to understand because it really, it, like, that's the main thing. I don't know how many times I have to repeat it is calories. Calories are what matter. That's it. Doesn't, nothing else really matters as long as you're eating a well-balanced diet with plenty of protein per meal. That's it. That's all that I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope this sorted some things out for you. Remember to leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you disagree with me, whatever. Leave your comments down below. If you want to argue about it, go ahead and argue about it. But uh, yeah, I don't care. So subscribe if you're not subscribed. Remember, nobody cares. Train harder and I will see you all tomorrow.